Okay, we're back. I had a few audio problems, so all my old recordings are pretty much trashed. Alright, let's get the show on the road. I did a simple model swap, so Claire now has Ada's hair. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to do custom lighting and custom colors and all that garbage. Um, as you can see, Ada's hair is black. If you texture edit it, it won't change anything. You could change it to solid orange if you want, but it won't change. That's because it's all dependent on the MDF2. It's kind of lame, really. But you can disable that and use a texture if you so wish. So, since this is a model swap, it's uh, 1070, which is Claire's hair, and not Ada's, which is 2070. So this would be 2070 if this was me messing with official Ada's hair. But since I model swapped it, well, since I model swapped it, uh, it's 1070. So, here's Claire's, I mean Ada's. If you drop it in hex editor, it should look like this. Go all the way down. And here is the section. It's all different for every model, so please do not follow it exactly with the model you're editing. It's all different. I'm using Ada's hair, so if you are modding Ada's hair, then coincidentally, you can follow along. Do do. I'm uh, making it easier to read. I did it ahead of time. Just double checking. Okay. Now, just like my tutorial, these are the sessions. You got, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the heck the, this row is, but this is red, green, blue. So, here's the first row. First row. Got the light. So, like this. It's kind of weird at the start, but whatever. Then you got red. Red. Then you got green. Green. Then you got blue. You got blue. Simple. Now, you could use Photoshop to better understand it, but that's later. Since, um... This is the highlight. I already know Ada's here by heart, so this is the highlight. This is the sub-highlight. And this is the main hair. It's different for every model, so please experiment. That's what modding's about. You explore and experiment. Okay. Now, I want to change the base hair to solid blue. I never go above 4F. 4F seems to be the max for me, so I'm going to go 4F. So solid blue. It should be like neon. There you go. Solid blue. Super simple. Now, what if I want to fine-tune it? What if I don't want neon blue, because that looks like poo-poo? Well, simple. Set a 140. I'm helping somebody with their mod, so... They want pink hair. Let's go to Photoshop. Let's go to a nice pink. This looks good. As you can see, uh, I like rounding them. This will be 230. This will be 100. And this will be 180. So you got 230, 100, and 180. So red is the primary, blue is right behind it, and then right behind blue is green. So don't copy this number, it's wrong. You have to do it in their numbers. It's it's weird. Okay. This is the red section. So red is the highest. 41. Green is right behind it, so I'm going to put 40. I'm going to put blue as 40 as well. It's, it's just behind red, but not that far behind. It's kind of... Whatever. I'm stuttering. 
Let's go 777. It's uh, almost 41. Um, I should get it like a nice purplish. Ooh, it's like a, it's like a, a like a, how do I describe it? Like a salmon, salmon color? Nope, that's pink. That's straight up pink. Wow, that was a lucky guess. Okay, you got pink. Now, it's kind of dull. So I had some highlights. I always copy this. Then I'll fine tune it later, but for now. Oh yeah, by the way, this is fine tuning. So, yeah. This is the same as this, so treat this is treated like just as such. But this actually can go to F, 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 F. Okay, so... Highlights are normally higher than the base color, so... If that's the case, I'm gonna put... 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. I'm gonna put 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. I'm gonna put E, E, E. E. Let's see how this looks. Oh, there you go. That's the main. Uh, I, I like to say that that's the sub si uh, sub highlight. Let's go to the uh, main highlight. I I just copied them. Simple. Same color, why not? It is a highlight after all. And voila! You got the pink! Look at that pink! It's a pink! Do, 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 do. As you can see, even in this dim light, the highlight is still there. It looks legit! Obviously, I'm missing some parts like right there, but whatever you get the idea I'm guessing that it's right below as you can see 83 F means it's off so this could be something else this as well But if you really want to test things always go with the max number 4 F so whatever this is will be like super blue. No result. You always get stuff like that where nothing happens. I think I just lost my highlights. Yep. So that was a no no. Let's go back. And you just go on and on and on. Now remember, every model is different. For example, if I just put a bunch of like random garbage, just gibberish, copy this, paste it somewhere because I'm just doing it as a test. As you can see, the, the pattern sh uh, shifted. This is uh, this is red, this is green, this is blue, the thingy, this is red, this is green, this is blue, that's the thingy, this is red, this is green, this is blue, and so on and so on. You can just keep doing that. Remember, this is just this is just me explaining like different models. Every model file, which is MDF2, is always different. The lengths are always different. Nothing is the same. So, red, green, and then blue. I don't know what this is. Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. So, save. Oh, I crashed it. <laughs> so yeah.
healthy. Never, 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 dude. It's just random things. Otherwise, you might break things. Oopsies. Oh well, that ends the video. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you experiment with this stuff. You get crashed just randomly. Cause, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it's the same thing. 80, 83F means it's off. So, for example, since this was the base, if I go 83F, it will now load the texture. So, Ada's is like an off brown. You can now texture edit her hair and it would actually show up in game now because you turned it off. That, that should conclude the video. Have fun!